Hey guys, we're back at it. Thanks for joining the Piston Slap channel. A couple things before uh, we really get in this uh, so you don't waste your time watching this video. Um, there are special tools required by Kawasaki to do this um, and they give uh, numbers and specification on uh, pressures and vacuums on what they want. As you can see on the Motion Pro Sync Pro that I have here, and I'll read that part number off to you, 080411. Um, the scales on the side do not have any numbers. Um, I took a couple quick notes here before uh, I wanted to get in here, just to uh, go over it with you guys. You should be uh, having your engine vacuum synchronization checked about every 12,000 kilometers or every 7,600 miles. So basically every time you put spark plugs in your bike, uh, you should be having that check. California models, which this bike is not a California model, um, is going to have vacuum lines on the throttle bodies where I won't. Some of the pressures they talk about are vacuum, which is weird how Kawasaki lists it out as 33.4 uh, kilopascals. Converted that over to the US standard for vacuum, which is 29.19 inches of vacuum which seems kind of odd for an engine. It's kind of high on vacuum, but there again, I've never done this on a sport bike, so it's gonna be my first time. This is something that's gonna be a little bit more uh, technically advanced. Uh, so, I mean, it's still a do-it-yourself kind of thing, but if you feel uncomfortable about, you know, what's going on in this video, I'd, I'd strongly recommend taking it to professional and having a professional do it. All right, so let's uh, assume your bike's all together, guys. Um, which you can see mine isn't because I've been taking it apart and putting it together thousands of times uh, this winter time. We're getting close to spring, only about a month left before uh, I'm back on the road with this bike. Um, so what you're gonna wanna do is we're gonna get underneath the airbox and uh, hook this Sync Pro up to the throttle bodies. Uh, you need to remove the left and right plastic trims that go along the tanks. You'll have a four millimeter screw right here on both sides and you'll just go ahead and uh, pop these back and then slide it out. Uh, once that's out, go ahead and set it aside. Next thing you'll want to do is go ahead and remove your seat. On the left and right side, you'll have a four millimeter uh, shouldered Allen screw that goes in through here and into this little bracket. Set your seat aside. Uh, Kawasaki would want you to pull the tank off and set it to a side and has a special jumper harness to install uh, run a fuel line from this to the throttle bodies. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to tilt my tank back and work with it from under there. So we'll go ahead and get into that. You're going to remove both tank screws up here. Tank screws will be five millimeter Allen. So as you can see, that's all the room I'm going to have. So what I need to do is remove the air box to get down to the throttle bodies. Uh, there's a couple ways like you guys, if you're comfortable, go ahead and take the fuel tank off and just set it aside. You are going to need it, obviously, to make the bike run. Okay guys, I've already undone the clamps for my throttle body, so next I'm gonna to wanna to just undo my air temp sensor and kind of set that aside. And then undo this 10 millimeter bolt this is where sockets and ratchets would be nice, but Mr. Awesome Me, I left mine all at work. So I'm gonna use this quality 10 millimeter wrench that Kawasaki has put in their toolkit for me. This is where actually having a buddy would be helpful and somebody to hold your tank up for you. All right, with your 10 millimeter bolt loose, go ahead and remove that and just kinda Position your cables and clamps aside. Go ahead and set my fastener aside. Okay, you got two uh, lines back here, guys. You got to remove first before you uh, pull your airbox out. So with those removed, holding your tank up, this should be able to be done this way. Just like so. Set your airbox aside. You will need your airbox back. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the fuel tank and see if there's a way that I could possibly situate it to make it easier to get in and work on it. 
I don't want to be able to see the adjusting screws. Even if I don't have a adjustment that needs to be done, I just, for simplicity of showing you guys, wanted to uh, take a look at that. So, to remove your tank, guys, you need to disconnect this fuel line. And it could be under pressure, guys, so remember, you know, have a rag nearby. Like that. And then, to unplug your fuel tank, all the fuel harness back here, unplug it. That, loosen up your screw and remove it, and set your tank somewhere suitable. Okay guys, to install the Sync Pro to this uh, bike, like I said, the uh, California model will have vacuum lines coming off where these black caps are, and I do have one vacuum line coming off on this uh, uh, first throttle body. It's actually the fourth. This will be my number one throttle body, yeah, because that's how the cylinders are numbered one through four. Um, a lot of those guys will say to calibrate to the uh, to the master. Uh, I don't have a master, or Kawasaki, I should say, doesn't list a master. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to calibrate it to, it doesn't matter where you hook this at on here, because all of them are just going to get the same source and signal. Without the special tool, guys, you won't be able to really set the tank anywhere else other than on its mounting tabs to run this. So... To run this, this will throw a couple check engine lights because some of your sensors are going to be unplugged, guys. Make sure all your vacuum lines are out of the way. Plug in your fuel tank. And like I said, uh, what Kawasaki would normally do is just set that tank off to the side and then plug it all in. Install fuel line. Make sure she's plugged in. Easily accessible. So what we'll do is we'll fire the motor up, calibrate the Sync Pro. You can see right there, they're all calibrated. And she is not happy. <laughs> all that stuff unplugged. Alright guys, what I forgot to mention in here is on this particular bike, the sensor on the number four throttle body has to be plugged in. It's a, like a manifold air pressure sensor or a vacuum sensor or whatever Kawasaki wants to call it but without it plugged in the engine doesn't get a or the engine control module doesn't have an idea of how the vacuum is and the and what kind of fuel to put into the cylinders and that's why you guys heard it running kind of rough uh, what I ended up doing was taking the T connector for the sync pro capping off some of the lines and then actually splicing in the vacuum pressure sensor uh, along with that sync pro off that throttle body so that the engine would run smoother you'll see here in a bit uh, once I did that that the bike has a totally different sound to it uh, just thought I'd throw this out there you know it's one of those things it's kind of a afterthought and 
I didn't really have a way to put it all into text for you guys. So, anyway, back to the video. Alright guys, so you can kind of see, if, I don't really have any numbers to gauge it off, but you can see that cylinder one's up, two's pretty good, three's a little low, and four's a, a little goofy as well. So what we need to do is adjust uh, number three and number four. And to adjust those is uh, some set screws. I won't be able to show you with the camera. I'll have to just uh, paste a picture in here and show you where I'm adjusting. Right, guys so you can see we kind of got a little bit closer it wasn't really much out of spec but that'll uh, conclude uh, the synchronizing I know I probably did it a little bit wrong but I don't have all the special tools like Kawasaki was asking about thank you for joining the piston slap channel today for another how-to video uh, just a quick note on some of the things that uh, were a little different was uh, the service manual calls out that I should have been adjusting it with the thr uh, air box on. I did check it. It was the same. Um, so, you know, little things here and there. Uh, this is like the poor man way to do things if you don't want to spend the money to take it to the dealer or if you have the mechanical know-how and just need the tool. Um, I'll have a link to in my description on how to sync that or not from me but from actual motion pro they did a fantastic job i couldn't have done it better myself so anyway guys uh like i said thanks for uh, tuning in to the piston slap channel ride safe if you liked what you've seen here today go ahead and hit that like button if you have questions go ahead and drop them in the comment section below uh ride safe guys have a great and uh safe summer i'm out